Alrighty, folks, so I just finished watching the second episode of Alien Worlds, titled Janus. Was very heavy on the science, which I actually enjoyed for some reason. You know, back in the day when you were in school and you were in science class, it was just like, oh my god, I don't care about any of this. But, like, you know, as you mature and grow up, it's like, okay, this is actually pretty interesting. You know, there were all kinds of scientists with all their specialties. And there was a whole section with, like, ants, and it was showing all of them, the worker ones, the soldiers... And the other ones, I forget what their name is, they transport stuff, but... And these ants, the soldier ants, were not playing. A spider had ventured into their area and they jacked them up. It was pretty interesting that, you know, a spider, you know, it looked pretty big. It was a decently sized spider and the, the ants, just their little colony, they, it was their turf and they just destroyed it and just started ripping it to shreds. You know, those, those ants don't play when you come in their territory. And there was a whole section on these fireflies and you know this lady was talking about how the males and females use their lights to like mate and try to find a mate to reproduce and then sometimes they use it to warn off predators like get the hell away from us. Firefly like creature that also had a, emits a light and they basically lure the male fireflies in to mate with them and then you know the male gets there and he's like okay let's do this and then he gets eaten and just destroyed. Um, it was very sad to see them just run into that trap. And then they were, you know, talking about how in caves and in areas with low light, how, you know, it's like, okay, we're thinking of these other worlds. What if there's no light? And how, you know, creatures would survive and basically how any life is formed with no light. And, you know, playing Minecraft has taught us, you know, that mushrooms grow in the darkness. So we know that for a fact, but uh, basically talked about this thing called snotite that is like in caves. It's basically what it is. It's like snot hanging off of a of a cave, you know, off of the wall or off of the ceiling. It looks pretty disgusting, but apparently that allows life inside of these caves to basically feast off of it. There was these little fish things going around in the start cave, and it's like th they were kind of using that to explain how there will be life on a planet with no sunlight. And then this alien planet Janus, it's got a divide. There is a side with sunlight, and it's kind of a desert, so it's very dry. And then there's another side that's like complete darkness and cold and just depressing. And, and they show these creatures called pentapods that live on both sides. And a quick mention, the people who are doing the animation for this Netflix series, I gotta give a major shout out to them because it looks incredible. These pentapods that they make kind of look like a creature on Fallout. Essentially, they got like 10 eyes. They're very creepy, but it looks like something you'd, on Fallout, you'd be, you know, shooting with a laser gun, trying to destroy them. You know, and these pentapods that showed with the fireflies where they, they mimic their prey to get them to, you know, fall into their trap and get eaten and all that. The pentapods, these made-up creatures, essentially, they were showing them mating and they were like hermaphrodites, so they were male and female, so they kind of reproduced with each other and both were laying eggs and all that, so they climb up to the top of this mountain and let all their eggs go and they're like in the sky and spreading all over it's so many eggs so many so many potential future pentapods they, like i said they were interesting little creatures but like i said this episode was very heavy on the science and you know i actually enjoyed it even though some people might be like okay where's the alien stuff where's all the creatures and you know it wasn't as heavily featured i still enjoy the science of it and like i said the animators of this do a really good job of making these creatures and these worlds so major shout out to them but yeah let me know your thoughts on this episode in the comments and i'm definitely intrigued to watch the third episode but that will do it for this video peace out